name is Loki, and I am 40 years old. My brain is a laptop computer, which has an identical processor with 1.1 billion transistors. My so Loki uh, is a robot that I built uh, a couple years ago. He's just something I built in my spare time, and I have a lot of fun with him. They asked me to bring him down because they're uh, doing a focus on innovators and how you can use innovation to kind of change the way you look at things. And so he's a good example of, of uh, kind of innovating and working through different design principles. So his original design actually was very different than where he ended up, but I just keep looking and iterating on the design and coming up with new ideas. I think that with Intel's focus now on perceptual computing and new user interfaces, this has been really, really great because this uh, a robot is all about that. It's about how do you interface with something that doesn't have a keyboard, doesn't have a mouse, it's something completely different. Loki uses a 3D sensor to be able to see objects in his environment. He has stereo cameras for eyes, and what he does is he's trying to examine the world around him and make sense of it. So he builds models in his, in his uh, computer of what the world looks like, and then he also has a bunch of instructions he's supposed to execute. So if I want him to do some sort of task, he'll know how to go do that task. So he's running completely autonomous right now. He's going around looking for objects. He's got to calculate where those objects are in relationship to his body and then reach down and grasp them. He actually has pressure sensors in his hands, so if he knows that he didn't get one, he'll try it again, he'll back up and go over. And he carries a little trash can on his back, which is handy. Well, he uses some software that's called SLAM. It's simultaneous location and mapping to figure out where he is in his environment. But you know, he doesn't really know where things are in this, uh, in this place. And one of the biggest challenges for him here is that it's really loud, there's a lot of noise, and a lot of distractions, a lot of different odd-shaped objects and stuff that he's not used to. So uh, it actually is kind of a challenge. In order to make sure that he runs safely in this environment, I wrote an Android app for my Intel phone. So I actually have an Intel phone with an Android app on it that I can use to take over control of the robot, disable certain functions, turn them on, etc. If you show him a picture of Darth Vader, he'll actually freak out. He actually runs around in circles and freaks out and stuff. In fact, I could show you that here if I say his name. See if I can do this. Loki, here comes Darth Vader. Freak out. Turn He's gone crazy. He just kind of goes nuts. Well, it's been really great seeing people interact with the robot because they've never seen anything like this. Uh, in fact, yesterday I took the robot back to my hotel and we put him on a pedicab. And I think we almost call it the traffic accident. But it's really great. People look at this, they're like, I've never seen anything like this. It's just a completely different application of technology. And it's kind of like you see it on the movies, but you don't see them in real life. Um, I think it's inspiring, I think, for a lot of people. I, I take them to schools and stuff like that because it gets kids excited in technology.